Hey YouTube. All right, um, I'm gonna try to try to uh, be clear. Um, I did this video and then, whew, aside from the fact that my light behind me in the kitchen had these blue streaks in the middle of my video, then until I realized that you couldn't really hear me because I'm so freaking sick right now. Okay, so this is not an inauguration video. There's, there'll be no inauguration footage. There is no inauguration footage. I don't have any pictures. I don't have any video. I don't have anything. Um, because, well, number one, <laughs> the inauguration weekend was horrible, okay? Just for me. For everybody else, it was probably awesome and amazing and historic and all that awesomeness stuff. But for me, no. No, no, no. It couldn't be awesome and amazing <laughs> because it was too busy. Be horrible and, and... But, uh, but at the same time, necessary. So when the weekend was not being horrible, there was, uh, there were a couple of um, great, hold on. <coughs> Ooh, moments. Uh, uh. Um, number one, great things that happened. I got my hair done professionally. Ooh, ooh. Okay. Now, I was gonna get a style of some sort, but <laughs> I really needed my hair trimmed. Another great thing was I got the lock cream that she uses, okay? However, I'm really upset because I'm realizing that this is nothing but shea butter base um, with olive oil, it says safflower oil, and then some fragrance in here. But I swear to God, if I could smell right now, oh, I can kind of smell out of one nostril. It smells like baby powder. It smells amazing. She probably just put baby oil in it. I don't know. But it smells a freaking amazing, and I, 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 I love it. But the ingredients are so freaking simple and it's all natural. So, I mean, I could probably make it myself. And guess how much it's been cost me? Uh, yes, $20, okay? So, yeah, $20 for this little four-ounce jar. The girl makes it out of her own house. <laughs> Sorry, sweetie. I mean, no, seriously, I, I support black business. I love you and all. But give me something that I can't do on my own. That's what, that's what I'm saying. Seriously. Another highlight was I got to meet Crown Royal and Ice. And I, I can't come up with a name for him. <laughs> How about Braxy Babe? I don't care. Whatever. Just Braxy Babe. Okay. Um, so, we got to hang out. And he has a really excellent... Like, he, he should be posting this video up pretty soon, hopefully. But he has a video about what occurred at this Chili's that was just, like, so trifling. Like, seriously? I almost went to jail in Richmond, Virginia. Like, for real. Because I was getting ready to beat this little heifer down. Anyway. So, um... But aside from that foolishness that occurred at Chili's... Um, what did occur at Chili's was an awesome, awesome, awesome um, good deed that me and Braxton did. Um, Braxton and I, whatever. We were at Chili's and there was this table to the right of us. <coughs> I clearly have a roll of tissue just for my nose. Like, that's sad. And this is a mega roll, too, by the way. So, um, there was this table full of black folks. No, excuse me. It's about 11 or 12 people over there, right? Now, in most restaurants, when you have a party over a certain amount, they will not let you split the checkup because they know that people will... will We'll skip on the tip. Party's over eight, they automatically do gratuity in or whatever. Which I really do hate that because it limits me, you know, or I feel like it limits me because it's like it's telling me what I have to give you, and I don't like to be told what to do. So if you put my gratuity on my check, I'm not giving you anything else. So that probably means you got less than what you would have gotten if you would have just left it off. But anyway, um, <clears throat> so I guess they told them, and Chili still lets you split up the check. So they split up the check individually or whatever. So this man, the waiter, white guy, whatever, a tall white guy, he actually kind of looked like Lance Armstrong. It's kind of funny. Anyway, but he went over there. I mean, he was lifting stuff and he was looking. I mean, he was lifting everything. And, I mean, he didn't find any more uh, any tip or whatever. So he walked or, walked away and I guess he, um, Braxton Dave said he said something like, you know, look what they do or whatever, right? And walked away. Me and Braxton sitting there like, oh my God, I feel horrible because I hate when black people specifically do not tip. So anyway, what we did was, you know, we felt really bad. So we found the guy. We were like, you know, did you get a tip from that table? You know, he was like about four people tipped. You know, he was like, um, that's about it. And so we were like, you know, here. And we gave him like $15 um, total or whatever. It was like, here, you know. I'm really sorry. I hate when people do that. It really, you know, it really, really annoys me or whatever. And at first he was like, oh, no, you don't have to. He was like, no, we want to, you know. Um, and he was like, and he, the way he looked, like, seriously, it's ingrained in my head. But he was like, really? He was like. Thank you so much. And it's like, at that moment, I, I just think about a million and one things that were going on in his life that 
I mean, maybe fifteen dollars wouldn't really change, but just that act in itself might have, uh, you know, uplifted his spirits a little bit about about black people. So, yeah, that was a great. Okay, hold on. Sorry, snot is running. Hold on. Like seriously, I hate being sick. I hate being sick. Okay, why do I hate being sick? Because one, I don't feel like I'm up to my full potential right now. Okay. I am not all of me right now, okay? Um, another thing, I have to carry around a freaking mega roll of tissue because my nose is like, it's like, it, it's one is running and one is stopped up. So it's just like, oh my God, it's horrible. Another thing, I cough up my lungs and liver like every two seconds and it stuff hurts badly. I went to the, to the concert um, that they had, the, the concert outside. And I mean, the paraphernalia, the Obama paraphernalia is disgusting. I mean, it's so disgusting at some points. Like, some points it's just, like, unbearable. Like, seriously, you know, you don't have to put Obama everywhere. You know what I'm saying? I don't think Obama wants to see his name everywhere. You know what I'm saying? Um, and, I mean, you know, everybody was selling something. And guess what? I didn't buy anything. I didn't buy any paraphernalia. I didn't buy a calendar. I didn't buy anything. I bought nothing. You want to know what I have to remember this event? My memory. It's really it. That is really it. And I mean, to be honest, like, seriously, no matter how much Obama paraphernalia I have, he's still the president. Like, he's still going to be there. So, I mean, that's what I have to remember it by. I voted, freak. My God. Like, I voted. But anyway, you know, I I don't really need all of this stuff that says Obama because I can clearly go to Yahoo and see Obama, you know what I'm saying, President Obama, did such and such and such and such any day of the doggone week. So, what do I need to have my house, you know, painted in Obama-ness? I don't. I really don't. And... Therefore, I think people that have all that stuff, really, you're just wasting your money. It's just really some other way to get you to spend a whole bunch of money that you don't need, honestly. It's the same as Christmas. What the heck do you need, what the heck do you need gifts for to, to acknowledge Christ's birth? Okay, seriously? Like, seriously. You don't. You don't. Even though I don't mind receiving gifts, you can send me stuff. I don't mind. Um, message me. I'll give you an address. A P.O. box, really, because I don't need everybody to know where I live. And that is going to be it. So I shall talk to you all later. I apologize for the length of this, but I mean, break. This weekend was pretty, pretty, pretty long. <coughs> oh my God, I need to clean, clean off this keyboard because, yeah, no, this is disgusting. I'll talk to you all later. Somebody sent me some soup. Please, please. Um, yeah, okay, bye.